let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on at BC Tech in the last little while. You know, I think that we, our work fans, spans four main areas. We provide data and research to understand and explore the issues in the sector. We provide tons of educational programming to help our members grow and scale more effectively. Uh, we make connections and provide community connections to, through networking events and our peer forums, our C Council groups. And of course, we're an advocate on behalf of the sector. And on that last point, I wanted to let you know what's been going on on talent and our advocacy to government. So we hosted a roundtable of tech members with the Ministry of Advanced Education and Skills Training, and we also had the Jobs Ministry attending, and we highlighted the talent supply shortage that we see not just today in the tech sector, because we're all so clear on the war for talent that we face today, but our concerns about the supply of talent in the next decade. Industry demand is two to three times what government is forecasting. And we really want to encourage government to invest strongly in skills training, in reskilling, in helping more underrepresented groups get into tech, in helping more K-12 students understand what tech careers are. We really want to partner with government to increase the talent supply for the tech sector because if we act now, we can really realize the potential for growth. Now, one of the things that BC uh, Tech does directly is we offer a lot of programs on reskilling. And I just wanted to share with you some of the really positive success messages that we had from some of the graduates of our latest UX cohort. So uh, Ronit explained it was one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I have a feeling that it will completely change my life. It was very intense, but super rewarding. Uh, and Sophia shared that not only has the BC reskilling program allowed me to successfully make a career pivot that brings me joy, it has also brought back my confidence. And that's one of the things that we're so excited about is the yes, you can, yes, we can spirit that these reskilling programs are enabling people across British Columbia to feel. Another amazing BC Tech program is our internships program where we're helping diverse talent land internships with our members. So here's what a few of our participants had to say there. So BC Tech has been pivotal in our ability to hire young, talented students and have them both contribute to our work as well as learn. We wouldn't be able to grow nearly as quickly as we are without them. That's from Train Fitness, so we're glad that they had that experience. And Vin Automotive, we had a great experience with two individuals that were ready to learn in a fast-paced business experiencing rapid growth. So if you have a role that you want to fill, reach out to our internships team and we will send you qualified candidates within 24 hours. There's subsidies available and there's plenty of excited and dynamic people wanting to start their careers in tech. So please help us realize those dreams. I want to turn now to our What Works series. In May, we were really thrilled to host some fantastic educational sessions. We'll drop the link in the chat to the recordings in case you missed it and you would like to learn a bit more. On the 5th of May, we had Riz Samji join us from Cymax Group for our Scale Up Roundtable. Uh, on May 11th, we had guests from our CMO, C Council, talk about marketing with purpose and growth in mind. On the 18th of May, uh, we were discussing capital options and different capital strategies with an industry panel and BDC as part of our What Works Scale series. And on the 25th of May, we looked at business development strategies that can really amplify your growth and had guests from Launchpad, Alicadia, Galvanize and Jane App to talk about their experiences to inspire others. So all of those links are in the chat. And looking ahead, uh, I have to say that this is one of the most exciting times of the year when we start to really ramp up our moves towards our TIAs Awards in the fall. So. Uh, we've been absolutely overwhelmed by the interest in the awards this year, another record-breaking year in terms of applications, uh, and we are excited that we will be in a position to announce the finalists in each of our 12 categories on June the 16th. Between 4 and 6 p.m. there is both a live option, if you would like to interact with humans again, and a virtual option in order to make sure that you can join however busy your day is. So we will be announcing all of our finalists then and really look forward to sharing that with you. 
Uh, and we also hope that you will be saving the date and marking your calendars and uh, asking yourselves just how many people you're going to bring with you to the gala. We're going to be holding it on the 6th of October. We are back to the Vancouver Convention Center, which we expect to sell out in the next weeks. So don't hesitate to get your ticket orders in. We've deliberately gone early. We're avoiding flu season and last minute complications as much as we possibly can. So I'll be really excited to see you there.